Uh, I'm going to start my last presentation of this meeting. It's, uh, as you see, it has been very diverse, all the presentations I have given. And uh, this one, it will be on options and, and commu for communications and outreach that is linked with the work package 7. Uh, as all of you know, it is uh, extremely important to have the, a communication plan in all the projects uh, because we need to uh, communicate awareness. This is linked as well with the presentation I did yesterday on stakeholders uh, about the content, the context, the <coughs> different communication flows, the effectiveness, and the form of the media that we need to use to communicate with the different uh, target audiences. For this, as I mentioned, we need a strategy. Uh, we need to determine scope by gathering information and identifying the audiences to conduct a research that uh, we have started already in the different countries uh, to develop the plan. Uh, it could be a draft communication strategy and, uh, or, and a detailed communication plan. And also the third pillar that will be to deliver and evaluate uh, <coughs> in terms of the executing the plan, monitoring it, and a final evaluation after the project. Uh, as I have said, uh, this is a major component for a successful project. If we find the best ways to communicate uh, uh, our work, we will receive more help and as well more contributions from stakeholders as well, but also citizens. And, uh, the, and this is, in fact, the clear need to define a strategy and a plan uh, of communication for the project. Uh, the communication strategy itself should focus on the purpose of the document and the plan and what we intend to use uh, to, uh, and for what is intended to be used. A uh, brief description and the background of the project, outcomes to be achieved, the objectives of the communication strategy itself, the target audiences and the key messages, as well as identifying the best communication tools and the strategy action plan that it could be added to the work plan that we are discussing. Uh, why we need a plan? Uh, to arise this awareness that I uh, showed in the first uh, slide, to provide partners, not only stakeholders and external people, also the partners, uh, with a documented framework detailing all kind of communication mechanisms, to ensure this communication and uh, to provide the mechanisms for seeking and acting on feedback to encourage both partners and stakeholder involvement. Then uh, we will need knowledge and understanding of the project, CMA2, knowledge and understanding of the key uh, stakeholders, and the knowledge and understanding of the appropriate types of communication methods that uh, we know that are very diverse as well. About the target audience, uh, we have been discussing here as well about different groups involved in the project. First, in the group of partners, including administrative and institutional groups, kind of steering committee, the donor, the different partners, other institutions like regional organizations, the technical and data group, that it could be those ones working directly, doing the work, gathering data, uh, managing all the data and preparing all the tools, and the thematic stakeholders that uh, we have as well discussed it here during uh, these days on the difference from different sectors, energy or aquaculture and fisheries, or environment, transportation, etc. About the communication tools, we have many. I mean, we have a website. During the first phase, it was uh, uh, one uh, website was launched as well with a kind of geo portal. Other projects like uh, Spincam are doing the same. A website, uh, an atlas or geo portal for the in order to show. Uh, the advance uh, and the progress of the w uh, of the project itself, but it was not enough to uh, show our results and to engage people and uh, <coughs> stakeholders to know about our project. But we know we have Facebook, we have YouTube, we have the Twitter, we have the Google solutions, we have LinkedIn. In addition to that, we have uh, the. Uh, and the platforms that uh, IODE is offering, like Ocean T-shirt, like uh, 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 Ocean Expert, Ocean Docs, etc. For the implementation phase, we need to share the responsibilities among the partners. This is not uh, a task 
that can be done only by um, the coordination or by IOC or the donor. I mean, we need to, def uh, to share these responsibilities to define as well the frequency and implementation calendar for the plan and the associated cost, because of course this will, uh, would, will require the, a lot of uh, work to do. And uh, once that this is done is to add these communication actions into the project plan. Uh, since I have a bit of time, I will uh, show the example of Spinken. As I mentioned, we have a website. It's in uh, bilingual, Spanish and uh, in English. There you can see information about the project, about the partners, about the countries, the news. For example, we are, going, uh, we are showing there that uh, Spinken is participating in this uh, uh, project meeting. A library where we have all the documents and reports from the project. The access to the atlas. We also have some uh, thematic information on coastal and marine because uh, uh, SPINCAM is developing the information networks and the uh, information <coughs> system to support uh, integrated coastal area management and marine special planning in the region. We have information as well about the network, our network, including different projects like CMA or like uh, other European projects and the access to the users. Access to the users that, uh, well, this is the, the Atlas, the direct access to the Atlas, and our internal communication tool that is uh, based in the base camp uh, with access to all the partners, and there is where we share all the working documents. Uh, we have a Facebook. Uh, for the moment, we have only 60 likes. But uh, for, <laughs> during the last uh, weeks, we have been sharing information. For example, the expert course in Spain that I just mentioned. And this information uh, was, uh, uh, well, all our uh, likers read this information and share it as well in their own walls in Facebook. And then this information arrived to more than 100, uh, 450 uh, users of Facebook. It means that even if we have in our Facebook 60 uh, likers, at the end, the information is uh, distributed to a huge uh, audience. Uh, the same thing we are using LinkedIn as well as uh, Ocean Expert to uh, create the network of experts uh, that are participating in SpinCam. In this case, every time that we send uh, Spink and experts to different trainings or conferences, they need to update their profile in LinkedIn and uh, from there we gather the information and we decide who is the most appropriate expert to represent uh, our project in international conferences or trainings. Uh, last year, at the beginning of this year, we sent a survey uh, to develop the communication plan of the project to all the partners and uh, we received a lot of information. We were asking like uh, who are the most relevant coastal stakeholders holders in your country and potential users of the SpinCam products? As you see there, uh, the majority of the countries uh, mentioned that technicians and researchers would be the most uh, relevant stakeholders, as well as the public authorities that are in charge of uh, taking the decisions. But other sectors like tourism, industry, and, uh, and even the citizens for knowing better the state uh, of the coastal areas in their uh, neighborhood is uh, were also important. Uh, about the format that uh, this information should be should be distributed, uh, we establish different uh, formats like text, tables, graphs, in videos, animations, maps, and depending on the end user, uh, you see there that. Uh, it was decided that, for example, for citizens, it's more appropriate animations or videos, and uh, for decision makers, it's more like tables, graphs, and text, uh, and so on. You will see that um, this information is already available in the, in the well, you, you have this presentation, and additional information will be available in the website. Uh, about the most uh, adequate formats for dissemination, through the website, publications, conf national confer uh, conferences at national or international scale, social networks, uh, multimedia products, or regional events. 
uh, as you see there, the website and also social networks were identified uh, as the best options for, to inform citizens and the national and regional uh, conferences to inform uh, stakeholders and the research community. Uh, about the frequency that uh, the countries consider the information need to be sent, uh, if we are talking per format, it's like a website daily uh, for the social networks and, uh, and weekly as well, uh, as well for the website. Publications could be sent like the newsletters, uh, monthly newsletters, and uh, all the kind of publications like technical reports and how you progress in your, the different activities uh, every six months or annually. Uh, the participation in the national conferences or an international confer conferences at least two per year, because of course this uh, is not depending on. Uh, our activities is not that we go to all the national or regional uh, or international conferences, but the most appropriate ones are identified uh, for us to uh, to participate. And this is an overview of what we did. Uh, we have started to do this year in Spincan. With this information, we are currently uh, developing together with CPPS and the countries the communication strategy because next year we end the project and then it will be the last step to communicate the results and uh, to disseminate all the uh, work progress. And uh, I would like to finish my presentation saying that, of course, that we receive a huge amount of information every day. Even in this meeting, for example, we have received a lot of information from in different formats, uh, a lot of ideas. But the main question today uh, we consider that is how to keep the attention of the audience. Uh, we cannot offer one, uh, let's say, map viewer solution that is slow, because at the end, the people is now very used to go to Google and they have the information in one second. And uh, they don't need information. For example, we cannot share with them heavy reports like 400 pages. We need really small uh, publications, leaflets that are visible, for example, the, what the um, guys from the Ocean Health Index are doing. This is uh, a, be a nice way how to communicate results, because if you want to read the, about the methodology, you have all the uh, scientific research uh, available, but to communicate to the general public is very simple and very illustrative. And these are just my uh, suggestions uh, in case you can find it useful to add it to the uh, work program. Thank you very much. Thank you.